Hey guys, what is that up? This is the guest, the Gengar here today bringing you a Destiny video, and today I'm going to show you how to glitch the raid. This will probably be patched by the time the new update comes out on Tuesday, or tomorrow, or whenever you're watching this, but let's hope that it's not. Basically what you're going to want is a sword, any kind of sword, um, max agility on your hunter or your titan, and you're going to want the boots of EO if you're using a hunter. Um, basically this is just making sure that you have many jumps to just not worry about many things. Boots of EO with triple jump on the Hunter is actually pretty great. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this. So what you're going to do is, once you start the raid, go towards the main door. You're going to want to go to the highest platform you can, which is right around here. You see that platform with the two lights, you're going to want to double, triple jump or whatever just to get on there. It takes a few tries, you'll know, you'll slip off, or you can land on the platform below it like I just did and jump up there. You're going to want to get into this light fixture, use your sword to get in. Um, again, it takes a couple of tries. Now I'm going to be cutting around to a lot of points where, uh, you know, I go to the correct thing, but basically you're going to bring in a lot of heavy ammo synthesizers, I stockpiled on them just for this. Um, just because you're going to need as much sword ammo as you want to make this as easy as possible. So once you get up here, see that platform with the two lights on them, you want to try to land on this beam right here. Um, then after that you're going to want to try to attempt to get into that light fixture. Um, I didn't even know it was possible to actually get in these things, to be honest, until I saw the video the other day, the Reddit post and all that jazz that was explaining it. So once you get in here, you're going to want to look out towards the middle and jump onto this little ledge right here. Now it's a little tricky to get on here, it actually took me about 10 minutes just alone just getting to this point. As you can see I'm very uncomfortable with the platforming and I jumped multiple times almost screwed myself over. Now once you jump onto here, you're going to want to look up and to the left of this X there's actually a platform you can land on. You're going to want to use your sword to land on it, but if you miss don't worry you can use your sword to reposition yourself on this steel beam. So. Once you get up here, you're going to want to sit and just make sure that you're safe. Alright, so once you make it to this point, you can take a breath, you know, just make sure you can jump up to this ledge right here. And now once you're on this ledge, you can take another breath, you know, just take it easy. Don't push yourself to go, like, any farther. And up to the right a little bit, you're going to want to move over and you'll start seeing this orange glow. If you jump towards it, you will land inside of a crevice. Um, so as you see, my character uses uh, three jumps in total to get over here, and once you're inside this crevice, you're going to want to jump and keep using your sword. If you keep alternating between these two, it is a technique called the sword jump that you could actually use several times inside of the Taken King raid. Now once you do this enough times, you'll land inside of a portion of the stage where it's safe to walk on. Alright, so once you're on the platform, you can look up to the right, and you see right here there's a lip, you can jump onto it. Now, once you're onto this, you're going to want to position yourself carefully to the point where you can get a good look on the overview. Alright, so put yourself near this little hole in the ground right here, and once you're here, you're going to want to start running over the edge to the point where you start to slide. So, once you start to slide, keep pushing forward, and you want to end up in this crevice right here, and you're going to want to keep sword jumping until you land on a ledge. Um, right here you're actually going to see me mess up where I try to land on that ledge where the uh, two different meshes or like textures start to fade into each other and I actually fall and land on this little concrete block, you know? Only with my luck could I end up falling here. So if you land here, don't worry, just exit the raid and just get back to uh, the point where we are at, the top of the dome, and it'll be fine. So, you know, basically... I fucked up, so let me show you what happens if you do it correctly. Alright, so I'm gonna pop in over here, there another heavy ammo synthesizer, <clears throat> because you're gonna need the sword for this part. So like before, you're gonna want to jump over to this ledge and keep sword jumping up. So if you ever start doubting yourself, just keep sword jumping, you know? If you're using the max sword ammo, you have about 76 slices with it, so it's gonna be fine, alright? So get far up, and you're gonna wanna try to jump out to the ledge, not like I did before though, and once you do it, you're going to try to land on a little, there's a little nick outside of the uh, the wall where the two textures meet, and you can stand on it. As you can see, I actually landed on it, and I kind of jumped off, and I keep doing it for a while, because again, I'm not confident in my, 
my jumping skills whatsoever. So once you get there, just sit and stay just for a little bit. Again, it takes me a while and I fuck up again, which this will show as long as you don't land on a little concrete block, you will be fine. It will just put you right on top of the little like dome again. So let me just show you the spot where you're going to want to aim for. Alright, now when you're standing here, you can see that little bar right there, so what you want to do is jump to the right, and then back over to the left. And once you do that, you will land on this little bar. Again, it's a little safe spot, so there's a lot of small places where you can stop and just take a breath. Now that you're here, you're going to want to turn your camera back towards this beam and jump up to here. Now that you made it to the roof, you're going to want to jump up to the second layer, I guess, and just run straight forward. Now, it might seem stupid because you're hitting a, like, architect's area, or whatever you want to call them, out of bounds. So, once you die, you did it correctly. As long as you are in this place, you are safe. Now, when you respawn, you will spawn inside of a hallway between two exotic chests. One is behind us, and one is in front of us. So I'm going to stop narrating right here, I'm going to fast forward the clips so you can set, uh, go and find out where to get those two chests, and then we'll start heading to the next area.
Alright, so once you get to this part, you're going to want to grab the second chest, and that's the first two chests down, alright? Um, now, what you're going to do is actually leave the raid, because you can't get to the next portion, which is, I think, the Zamboni fight, people say? Um, I've never done the raid, so again, I don't know these things pretty well. Uh, but I'll see you back in the next part. Alright, so I actually borrowed a clip from Willis's Gaming, or Willis Gaming, um, this is actually the video I was watching while I was doing this. So what you're going to want to do is run off to the left, don't worry about the counter, and just fall down. Um, you're going to land on this kind of like open beam area, don't worry about falling through. Uh, the ground is completely solid, I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. So what you're going to want to do is kind of go follow him to the left inside the wall a little bit, and you'll actually land on this platform, and on the platform right ahead of him is where I'm at. Now that you're where I'm at, what you're going to want to do is start running forward for a good 5, maybe 10 minutes. and uh, th Maybe 5 or 6 minutes to be honest, it's not that long of a run. But you're just going to want to keep going forward and I'll stop at the point where you actually need to fall into the level. So I'll see you there. Once you get to this portion of the level, you can actually jump down to the left, and though the wall might push you back a little bit, you can just fall through the level and you'll hit this loading screen, fall down to the ground, it will kill you, and that is alright, because once you respawn, it's actually going to put you right in front of the Death Zamboni fight. So now that you're here, actually you want to turn around and go to the chests that are behind us, and I will fast forward so you can see where those are. Right, after you grab the chest, oh, sorry I thought there was two of them back there, you're actually going to want to go straight forward and run to the end of the Death Zamboni Bridge. Now, at some point I actually think that you might be able to grab the SIVA clusters, but 
I didn't know that the sides of the stage were uh, electric electrically charged. So I, I don't think you can grab the SIVA clusters this way. If you can, correct me if I'm wrong. But once you reach the end of the bridge, you're going to want to jump. Alright, now that you're at the end of the bridge, you're actually going to want to just fall down off this platform and just jump before you land. If you die before you land on it, don't worry, because we'll just put you right on the platform either before or either before you jumped or right where I landed. Uh, I'm looking around to make sure that I'm not missing anything, because, again, I'm looking for the SIVA clusters, and I, I know that there's a chest that's supposed to spawn after you beat the Zamboni in that area. But since we did not beat the boss or even start the first boss of the game, none of the boss chests or, yeah, none of the boss chests will spawn. So we're just going directly after like the uh, exotic chests. So as you can see at the end of the bridge, I'm starting to jump on these cliffs, and that is because there is an exotic chest at the end of this. Uh, it's the little, I guess, it's the little nod to the jumping puzzle inside of the uh, new social space. It's not hard to figure out whatsoever. All you need to do is just look for things you can land on, and just jump to them. Be honest. So after you do this, this is the last chest that you will need to grab for the raid. I know it is not a complete 100% to the end of the raid, but after this I will show you the clips where I actually run around inside the maze that is coming up, along with uh, the code room where you would actually use the, the last screen of the raid to unlock the exotic quest for the pulse rifle that I really want. Alright guys, thanks for watching to the very end of the video, and before we leave, I just want to say uh, I love making these Destiny videos, and I really hope that you guys enjoy these. It's pretty weird in general, just because I mostly make uh, Pokemon videos, if anything, but Destiny is a real passion for me. I love playing it all the time. Basically, I wake up, I play Destiny, <laughs> and, and all that jazz. Um... But hopefully at some point soon, maybe this week or next week, I can actually get in and do the raid. Uh, my highest character is only 367, and now that this update's coming out, the raid will be upgraded to 380. But apparently also things that drop, like legendaries and exotic engrams, will be dropping things at a higher light level than before. So maybe I can get in and do the raid. I don't know, but I'm also going to be making a video soon with my Titan showing you how to get all the SIVA clusters. Um, and when it comes to the four that are in the raid, I will actually cut to me getting them with my Warlock because I taking my Titan would kind of be a suicide mission since he's kind of neglected with his subclasses with having none of them fully upgraded and stuff like that. So... I hope you all have a great day, and leave a like on the video, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Comment down below what you would like to see me do in Destiny, or if you would like to try to uh, get together in Destiny. It's not hard to actually find people in Destiny whatsoever. There's only 7 million players, but I don't know, maybe I'll just do like a video where I play Archon's Forge with some people, and you know. So, until next time. Again, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and bye bye